Hello my friends and welcome back to another episode of Sky Factory 3.0. This is from the chicken's point of view. We are working on episode number 10 and it's all about chickens with the chosen architect. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, and let's get started. Hello my friends and welcome to another episode of Sky Factory 3.0. I think I'm in episode 10 and I have been joined again once again by the wonderful and talented chosen architect. Hello, chosen architect. <laughs> What's going on? All right. And make Today... sure again, make sure you check out his channel. He has got some awesome videos. So yeah, go, he's going to help us out. Go ahead. I'm going to follow along. He's going to teach us a lot of things today. Go All ahead. Right. I'm sorry. Today we got a lot of stuff to do with chickens. A lot. Can we do the chicken right. dance? Oh yeah, the chicken dance. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> I think I'm showing my age there. All right. Um, maybe best if uh, he should have a link. I'll I'll post this video around the same time he posts his uh, his. So if you want to swap back and forth um, to see, I can see every, the crafting table different... as you go too. Okay, different points of view. Yeah. Okay, if that works, then fine. that's perfect. All right. So the first thing we're going to need to get started with some chickens is actually some wheat. So let me grab some a bunch of wheat. You're going to need a lot of wheat to get started with hatchery and uh, with the wheat you're gonna have to make some hay bales so you'll go ahead and make a few hay bales and we're gonna use those hay bales to make nests just like this okay. and I'm gonna start with four I already have one already in my inventory Okay. let me go ahead and make one more hay bale just like that. Okay. So we and have... No, the last thing was a nest. So how many yes. nests? So right now you four. have four hay bales and how many or I have four. I have four nests. Okay. Use the hay bales to craft the nests. Okay. All right. And I'm going to place the nests just beside each other over here, which is fine. And uh, we're going to go craft some chickens to put in those nests. Um, what I like to start off with... Um, with me experimenting so far is a sand chicken and a red chicken and those are if you can search chickens um, any any higher tier chicken that you want say you want a diamond chicken you're gonna first have to combine a glass or golden chicken or a net or then but before you get that you're gonna need to even get a glass chicken, you're going to need a nether quartz chicken and a redstone chicken to be bred together. And to get a nether quartz chicken, you of course have to go to the nether, and they'll spawn there. So the next step for us to do would be make a redstone chicken, which is a red chicken and a sand chicken bred together. And to get a red chicken and a sand chicken, I'm going to show you that. Okay. You're going to need some uh, chicken eggs, and uh, we're going to do, uh, let's see, we're going to do two of each right now so I'm gonna make the red chicken which is just like this and it'll give you a red chicken egg it says throw it to have a chance to spawn a chicken now you can throw them but you're probably gonna be wasting materials if you do that that's why we made those nests also we're gonna need the sand and the sand chicken is just an egg surrounded with sand pretty simple and now we have those two eggs alright okay. so you wanna see something cool yes of course All right. Let's take these lamps, redstone lamps, that you, uh, let me place something there. Okay. So you're going to place the lamps on top of one block above the uh, hatchery nests. And just place them on top of there. They're just acting as heating lamps. Hmm. And then I think one, one of these will light the whole thing. Okay. Half of it. And as long as those are on and above the hatchery uh, nests, they'll hatch faster. So if we, well, these these will will hatch automatically. Oh, the cool. ones that are they're they're spawn eggs. Okay. So let me go ahead and. So what uh, just happened? Okay, I just oh, placed. Oh, you got out. <laughs> <laughs> he's see. Sometimes they they spawn fully grown. Sometimes they they spawn as uh, the little chicks. Okay. Um, so those don't go in the hatchery nest, but every chicken from that point on will go in the hatchery nest. 
Okay. Like the red chickens. They go right in the hatchery nest, and then they have a percentage uh, of completion going on. Oh, Lord, they're slow. Yeah. Yeah, and they're they're really slow. They're even more slow when they're these are not above them. So this will speed it up uh, probably by half, whereas wow. you'd be waiting a long time. But this does guarantee that you're going to get a chicken out of there. All right, so I, the sand ones, they just automatically hatched. Yeah, they were they just automatically hatch. Okay. Um, but once they do breed, when they breed, they will produce sand chicken eggs, and then those eggs are not spawn eggs. Those eggs will have to be placed in here or just thrown on the ground if that's what you okay. want to do. All right, so what else was I needing? I think that's I think that's it. Oh, we need a net. I need to go grab a net because okay. we're gonna have to we're gonna have to use those nets. I get you some uh, string. There's one. Oh, there was an empty one in here. Oh, is there? Okay. Yep. Okay. I love those nets. Oh, sorry about that. So there let's get rid of this guy. Okay. We're gonna throw him. Let's actually leave leave them in here for right now because. Well, we can work in this area. Okay, I'm going to throw them in there. Next, we're going to talk about how to actually get started breeding them correctly, okay. um, where you don't have to use seeds. Because you can breed them with seeds, like standard Minecraft. Right. Um, you can start breeding these guys, but they'll their drops will just drop everywhere. Uh, he'll dr This one will drop sand. Um, it'll drop chicken manure, and it will drop... Um, uh, Eggs, I think, uh -huh. and I, I don't think sand chicken eggs unless they're breeding. But, um, it does produce sand, and just like these red chickens, <laughs> they'll produce red dye. Um, and there is a chicken for every color dye, so if you want chickens that produce dye, you have that right there. Oh. Yep. So our next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna have to dig some holes in here. We're going to set up basic like spawning or a basic, uh, let's see, I want the chest to be here and we'll separate them. Put two chests down like so and we'll connect hoppers back here to them. And to connect a hopper, you of course hold shift and click on the chest and it will connect them to the hopper. And then now we need to craft our next thing for hatchery. Okay. All right, so we're going to need four more of the, let's see, hatchery. There is a, uh, what's it called? A nesting pin. And the nesting pin requires a hatchery nest as well, and it requires oak planks, which I actually don't have some oak. Let me go grab some oak. Okay. Oh, I got some. I got tons. Oh, okay. They're in the crafting table. That'll be perfect. Okay, so it requires oak. And you're still going to need the nest. So um, we're going to need the same amount of nests we just made, four. So we're going to need a bit of hay to make the nests. And this is why having a farm early game to get started with this mod is essential. And just like this, there's two. I need a bit more. Let's see. There we go. Now we have four nests. And you just surround those nests with wood. And you'll get a nesting pin. Okay. All right. Awesome. And the nesting pin has a really cool texture that you're about to see. All right, so you're going to take the nesting pins, and you've got to remember that the reason there's two separate hoppers because you're going to have two nesting pins next to each other, and these are going to be separated so that we can uh, maintain our breeding. And just like that, you can see there's a lovely texture that is in cool. there of hay. That is really, that's, really cool. That's why those nesting pins look so funny because they use that texture. I like that. Okay, like so hey, so you're gonna take yeah. the head out and capture the two sand ones and put them in there. Um, yeah, I'm gonna actually go get some seeds so I can breed that uh, or raise that chicken to full growth really fast. If you click your seeds on the chicken, you can watch its growth. 
It's uh, you can watch its growth cooldown time decrease. Okay. And so it'll get down really low. And I haven't even used a stack of, of seeds it, yet. There was a harvest mod not too long, a couple series ago. That it, this is what it, it had: tier one growth, one gain, one strength, one. Yeah, and you could you you could make them produce faster, and it's just oh, there you go. There we go. Yeah. So we have this one, and it'll produce sand every seven minutes, or maybe it's a chance. To, I think they do produce sand though, every seven minutes. So you can take your net and then you place them inside there, and they will be roosted and be set down it's pretty neat and when you place them next to each other you don't have to use seeds to breed them no more so they will they'll auto breed and they'll just make eggs you mean yep well they'll make eggs manure which is also used if as they're not making baby milk. chickens when you say auto breed no they'll make they'll make the eggs okay right. and then the eggs you'll put over here under the heat lamps which these guys are at 74% uh, we got seven minutes done. and eight minutes before they do their drops. Yep. Now, getting started early game, uh, That's this takes a long time. So you're going to be do doing this, and then while you're working on everything else in Sky Factory, these guys will be producing stuff. They'll be upgrading. Um, these guys will produce different tier-level eggs. They'll have uh, different stats, and you're going to want to find the best uh, best eggs and go over here and hatch them and see which, what tier you get. See if you get an upgraded tier. Okay. And then uh, the better the tier, the better they are at breeding and uh, the, the faster they produce as well. So um, they could be really helpful. I really like that texture. That's just, that's cool. Yep. So how we so these, guys, these guys are 85, 84. They're 80%. Now these are pretty cool when they hatch. They are little little baby chickens. So, uh, so you'll little, give them the seeds chicks. again to help them grow faster. Yeah, probably probably have to give them seeds to help them grow faster. Um, but they once you have all four, uh, you and you you start doing other things in Sky Factory. You won't even notice the hatching time. You'll come back and you'll be like, oh, there's a bunch of ch full grown chickens in here, and and there's dye everywhere. Or there's sand everywhere. And you'll have to go pick it up, and, and you'll have full inventories. All right, but, so uh, we are trying to make a redstone chicken, right? Redstone, yes, we're, yeah. we're fixing to make a redstone chicken. Oh, yeah, whenever whenever these hatch up, which they're they're almost ready to go. Um, what is the name of that egg? Redstone? Or what's it? Uh, like? Red chicken it. egg. Red chicken egg. Oh, okay. I, you can do uh, chickens, and you'll get a whole list of chicken eggs. Or C H I C. Yeah, so we're doing. We'll I see the it. red chicken egg, and that yeah. one. But which one's the red stone one? That's what I'm trying to find now. Oh, the red oh, stone. Oh, I see it. I see it. I see it. Yeah. So you, there you go. You got your red chicken. There's a twenty percent chance. Okay. So and our next step is you're going to show me how they breed. Yeah. Basically, is that with seeds? Uh, no, they breed in these things. As long as these are butted up against each other, and you place, say, a. Right here, we'll place. Uh, we'll take this guy. Uh -huh. We'll place. We'll place him over here, and then we'll place the red chicken next to him. And they will all. They will both produce their eggs, but there's a twenty percent chance that they will also so produce one in a red five stone egg. will be a redstone chicken, hopefully. Yeah. Okay. And then we go over here and hatch them. Oh, oh there they look. are. There you go. Yeah, they're ready to go. Hello, awesome. welcome to the world. And they are really red. They are bright red chickens. <laughs> all right, and so I'm gonna get this guy cool down growing growth. real fast growth cool down 19 minutes so yeah these these have a really long cool down but you can knock them down with like five oh, yeah, you're down to six five yeah or i guess that's I, just I, with I seeds. all the way yeah just seeds and it'll knock them way down you know steroids before you know is it, illegal <laughs> <laughs> before you know it these things are full grown all right so this thing is a full grown chicken full grown red chicken we'll place him in there and you still use the net to pull them out, and they, they just come right out. And what we do is we place them next to each other, and they will continue to breed. Now, you won't see anything. You'll just have to check the chest every now and then. And it takes a, a while to see drops. Um, they'll drop every seven minutes, I think, seven or eight minutes. But uh, whenever you got both of them going, these guys will, will be producing. You should get both redstone, or not redstone, you should get both but sand and uh, red dye from these chickens while they're sitting on top of the hoppers. 
because the nesting pin uh, automatically connects to the hopper and it sucks the items out of them. Now, if you give them seeds, it will not help them go any faster, will it? I don't think so. No. It doesn't let you feed them. Okay. Um, there is a feeder, which is part of hatchery. I saw that, but doesn't isn't that for like the ones that are just walking around? It's not for the ones. That yes. Are... Yeah, I think so. Uh, chicken feeder. Yeah, it's just for them walking around. The nursery monitor is really cool. Um, say if you wanted this side right here uh -huh. to only have the baby chickens in them, you'll place a nursery monitor right here, and when those are full-grown chickens, it'll throw them over here. Cool. And leave the babies over this on on this side. Not not practical right now. Is there a benefit right now, for it? Yeah. Is there a benefit uh, if, for that? Yeah. If you have tons of chickens that you're working on breeding, yeah, that would be a benefit. Okay. But I think this is a, a more effective way of breeding right here than doing it by hand, which is what that nursery monitor would be helpful for. So, can what if we t pulled these out right now and we gave them seeds? Would they breed together? Um, I don't think so. Okay. We can try. Okay. If I give them seeds, it doesn't. It breeding doesn't cool down with seeds. Yeah, it's not. It's not a. It doesn't change anything. Okay. It looks like the breeding times are a little bit higher when they're placed inside the nesting pins. Right. Their drop. Their drop times are higher actually. But uh, yeah, I don't know if the drops are connected with the breeding. It may be separate. Okay. But. Eggs, eggs, eggs. Oh, we got a we got an egg over here. So that's somebody just... so somebody dropped an egg, a sand chicken egg. Now that's what I was talking about with the uh, the sand egg. Whenever you get a new one, uh, you'll have to put it inside that uh, the hatchery we have, nest. We have to take it over here and put it over. Okay. Yep. And then it'll start hatching. Those are different. But uh, you'll get you'll get those. You'll get the uh, red chicken eggs as well. Eventually, you'll just probably throw those eggs out, or you can you can still grow them. And when you kill them, they'll also give you whatever their their name is. They'll give you the drops for it. All right. So what's the okay? All right. All right. All right. What's the next egg you made? I'm just curious. You made the redstone. What'd you make after this one? I'm gonna see if I've I can got... figure this out. The uh, I made the uh, sand chicken. No, I'm talking about what would be your. We already got the sand. We got the uh, red chicken. Now we have the red stone. What what's the next chicken you made after this? And your we gotta we gotta go to the we gotta go to the nether. Oh well, there's other eggs you can make without going to the other right other. Oh yeah yeah you can. What did you make? Yeah there's. Um, uh, all I have all I have right now is uh, just waiting to go to the nether. But what have you made? What else have you made? That's what I'm getting at besides redstone. Uh, nothing. You haven't got anywhere else? Because you have to go to the nether next? Yeah, because I'm working towards um, getting a diamond chicken. So for, and then, but like for let's cocoa, see, what I'm getting at is like for cocoa, you need a red chicken and a cactus chicken. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So like I, it says I need a glass chicken. And the glass chicken's why I'm making that. But I also need a gold chicken. And to get a gold chicken, I'm going to need an iron chicken and a yellow chicken. And to get an iron chicken, you need a flint chicken, which you surround with flint. And then you also need a bone white chicken, which looks like... I've seen those. They look like... Um, it's a uh, bone, yeah, bone mill over... <laughs> They're the coolest chickens yeah. I've seen. They actually look so, like skeletons walking. We could probably make a bone white chicken. Hey, we and got more go drops. We got sand. We got uh, manure and some feathers. I think there was. I did grab some bone meal, just not enough. Oh, there's tons over at the. Um, yeah, I found the over at the crafting. Station. No, but I'm talking about the uh, the dark room area. Oh yeah, that's right. There's tons there. Okay, got that. Just gonna and the redstone. I really need redstone here. All right, so we got another drop, another sand chicken drop. Like you said, after a while, I'll just end up throwing these away. Yeah, after yeah, definitely. Um, you're gonna well if they're bred together, then you'll notice a tier change. But I don't think you're gonna notice a tier change unless they're red. being bred together. Right. Okay. 
And then, let's see, there was... This is where there's so many different types of chickens. The flint chicken is the other one. And do we have more flint, or is that all the flint? I got a little bit. Got there's little more there. flint. There okay. Go. So we can go ahead and make the flint chickens. Those are pretty. They're pretty simple to make. It just requires flint. So basically, the chicken's name is going to be it surrounding by uh, surrounded by whatever its name is. It'll be a regular egg surrounded by a name. For most of them, unless they're chickens that have to be bred. Like the flint chicken is going to be one that'll be spawned. It's a spawn egg. The all the colored chickens are not spawn eggs. Okay, I get that. Okay, and the yellow chicken, we're going to need a yellow dye, I think. I don't know if I have any. Yeah, I got some yellow flowers. That comes from the yellow flower, yeah. Yeah, let me get that real quick. And this will just get us started towards, uh, I think, most of the chickens. Yeah. And we need, you want to do 8 or 16 yellow dice? Uh, 16. Okay. Yeah, I recommend doing them in, in twos. That way you have them to be able to breed, breed them together. to... Yeah, to make them better. It doesn't hurt to have two. I'm going to go ahead and get these two started over here. Definitely. At least the two that I have in my hand. So what we're going to do is take this. and I just need two eggs on the crafting table. These are the flint chickens. They're pretty cool looking. Okay, I go ahead and throw two eggs in there and we'll get the yellow. Awesome. There you go. And that's it. The two eggs right here. Right now, and these, you, could, you could probably replace them with, with these guys. That way they're started. Okay. These, these are what's going to uh, mix with the iron chicken. With the iron chicken comes from the flint and the white chickens. And then you'll mix the iron chicken with the yellow, and then you'll get a gold <laughs> chicken. <laughs> yeah. And oh, then all that cool. process. Yeah, those... they're pretty neat looking. Yeah. They look like they have beards. <laughs> Oh my They're god! So, how many hatcheries am I going to have here? Holy! Um, crap. You can you can continue you can go making crazy here. Yeah. yeah, you can do as much as you want. Um, but yeah, you can just have one breeding station and just wait for them to breed and keep going up. That's fantastic. So so yeah. far, or we haven't hit the twenty percent with the redstone. Well, we got a red chicken egg. There you go. Yeah, the red. Yeah, it, it's going to be a little bit probably before you'll see a redstone chicken, unfortunately. Um, it took a little while for mine. But they, they will happen. They will breed. Oh, that's Trust fantastic. me, it will happen. And then when you get that redstone chicken, it doesn't produce redstone very fast. You'll get one redstone basically every time a drop happens. Okay. But, like, I have mine in my, my world up to tier three, and they produce, I think, every three minutes. So before you know it, I had a stack of redstone sitting in my my uh, chest. Just the greatest thing. Yep. That is. And just wait wait till a diamond chicken happens, and then you just have a stack of diamonds sitting inside there from a chicken. Oh, that would hurt pooping out yeah, a diamond. It's, this is this is I would say this is equivalent to um, the mis uh, mystical crops. But in chicken because form. yeah yeah because this doesn't require the crafting. That requires the patience, whereas that requires the crafting and no patience. A lot of crafting for that. It, this is literally, I, I wish I could remember the name of that, that harvest one, that, but it's, it's taking mystical crops and this, this harvest one and putting them together because you, you're, it's the tier level with the mystical crops, which doesn't have the tier level, obviously. Yep. I All wish right, there was a faster way to make these eggs grow, but so there's not. Just make sure my, my brain's working here right. Once we get some redstone chickens, we can let these continue breeding, or actually, we don't really need them breeding anymore. We can start breeding the redstone chickens together, right? Yeah. Over here, you can have it where you can set this, say, set this breeder right here to a tier level breeder, and just set this one to continue breeding these other chickens. Okay. And the tier so, you're talking about, so you put two redstone chickens here. Yeah. It's a tier one. Okay. And then you'll let the the two redstone chickens breed together. And they'll both continue dropping redstone, but they'll also um, create a bunch of different eggs. And you see how on this, look in here, you'll see this redstone chicken egg. Yes. It's got a growth, grain, and, and strength. Well, uh, every chicken that it produces while they're breeding together, 
it'll be like growth one, gain two, strength two, and then the next one may be growth two, gain one, strength three. And they'll you'll have to figure out what what you want out of those chickens. As long as they're and that that's when you have to have the two red chickens going at the same time. Yeah, like the higher yeah. tiers, right? And I like like gain is probably something you're gonna want because that's gonna net you more sand, say out of the sand chicken or red dye out of the red chicken. It seems like one of those is also makes the uh, cooldown time go quicker too. They yeah, make, they, they grow. Them, I think right? they grow a lot faster. Yep. Right. Fantastic. Awesome. All right, this so is chickens, hatchery. We're at 46. Do you want to take a quick break until these eggs hatch, and then we'll Sounds come right good. back? Yep. Okay. We have actually got a redstone chicken, so I'm going to go ahead and take that redstone chicken, and we're going to start it hatching over here. We created one more nest, and there we go. We just got a... Oh, <laughs> these are the coolest. Go ahead. These are cool. I love oh, these man. things. You got the gate. Yeah. It, it, it's definitely a bone chicken, isn't it? <laughs> it is bone white chicken. Look at this thing. They are looks the like a skeleton. Uh, I love those. I've not I've not seen this. And when it's bigger, you can really see the bones more defined. Oh, there's the oh, yellow one. Yellow. Gold. Okay, so there we go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's something else. All those. right, we're about to run out of. I'm gonna knock this one way down okay so we're going to take that actually the now you're going to take you can take the yellow chicken and the white chicken and Oop. breed them Oop. and what will they drop uh the yellow chicken and the no you it's going to be the white chicken and the flint chicken we're going to breed together okay so we can actually um and probably what will, get what will the white and the flint uh they're going to the white and the flint is going to make an iron chicken it's that simple to make iron. Yep. Wow. And so that we're going to take the flint. <laughs> you can see right through the damn thing. <laughs> yeah. You can see right through them. And they're going to produce the same thing. Also, I forgot to mention, they do produce feathers in the manure. And the manure can be used as a uh, fertilizer. It's actually a really good fertilizer. It's, it's probably just probably one of the best in the game um you spray it on your plants just like the watering can uh -huh. but uh it works a lot better i love that but uh you'll you have to like make a little area where you convert it into manure liquid manure i've seen there's and a spray to too. Can. yeah a little yeah. spray can for it but yep yeah. and these these guys right here now that you have that redstone chicken they will start working and these guys, once these get full grown, you could probably throw the redstone chicken. Once you get another, I'd recommend getting another redstone chicken out of here. Right, right. Out of these guys. But um, once once they drop one, which they should have a better chance since they went further along. Right. They've already well, they dropped got... two red eggs. Yeah. I heard they just dropped there? somewhere. Oh, we got a full-grown yellow chicken. Uh-oh. <laughs> there we go. The yellow chicken will be used after we get an iron chicken. And you... I think. And it makes a gold chicken. An iron chicken with a yellow chicken makes a gold chicken. So the thing now is, this will bring us to iron. Yep. And then we'll these add the yellow. Be... And Okay, so we need to build a whole bunch more of these things. Now, they can be next to each other here, can't they? Do they ha Does there have to be a space here? Um, yes. I think that, yeah, you want a space because then these two will breed. Right, which that's not worth trying to get for. Okay. No. That is so I cool. think. <laughs> that's all right. You know, there's not much documentation out there on this, so it's like everyone's learning off the skin of their, from experience here. Yeah. But it's definitely different. And then we have, this guy's grown fully. There's that skeleton. Let's get a good look at get a good look at him. I've ever seen. I, yeah, that's cool. Hello. <laughs> wow. It's literally just the bones. All right. Awesome. So from this point on, uh, I, I guess I. Yeah, yeah. You're more than welcome to to come by any time and up and help me update this thing and get it going even more. 
You don't have to wait to. Definitely. And then we can do another series or another episode on what you've begotten, if you like. Awesome. That sounds fun. Because this is, good this is all the basics, right? Everything we've done. Yeah, this is we could like getting started. Chicken feeders in here instead of giving the the. Um, no, we'll give them chicken feeder in here. Will that help them at all? I think it um, helps their. Um, I don't know if it auto breeds, but I think you can come in here with seeds and, and and breed this way, as well if you wanted to. I don't. I think if you breed them this way, um, it gives you a full grown chicken. I don't know. I'll but I'm see. talking about the chicken feeder. We can put that in there. I think that helps them go faster with their drops. Oh yeah, I think it. I think it makes them grow faster, and drops faster. Yeah, pro- it, possibly. I don't know. I think I don't know much I, about it. That, I did a little one. research on it. I think that's one of the things that the chicken feeder will help. Oop, I just got some at okay. harvest. It isn't it's these two that breed? So I'm breeding them. Okay, what'd they give me? You got another little flint one. It looks like. Did I? Yeah, baby flint one. That's right underneath the. Okay, elk. yeah, yeah. You can breed them this way, as well, and it doesn't give you the egg, but it does breed them. So if that's what if it, if this is a way you want to do it, um, it it will actually maybe actually faster. If it's, like it's got I a four minute. It's always going to be the flint. Uh, I, the I don't are. think. Yeah. I, it, do you think the odds are the same? I don't know. I don't. I think the odds are the same. What's that flint? Let's say the baby one. What's this? It's the same regular tier. Is it? Yeah. But with these two, you can breed them, and then it may give better tiered chickens. But see where this one you get to selectively pick your eggs. And uh Oh, there's our redstone. He's here. Awesome. Yeah, it looks like redstone. <laughs> it's so cool. That is. And he's a tier two. Is it? Yes. Oh wow. Yeah, tier two. Awesome. Well that's even better. That was a Hey, we got a flint egg, which that's not a big deal. Flint egg, flint, perfect. Hopefully these things will give us iron in soon. Definitely while you're on here, they'll they'll definitely this chest might be full next time you turn around. You never know. <laughs> you forget about it being over here, and then next thing you know, you turn around, this whole thing's full of eggs. Well, this is really really cool. This has been really neat. All right. I am now overwhelmed. Boy, this has been a lot of fun. I really enjoyed having the Chosen Architect here. Link down below. Make sure you go and visit his channel. Uh, I've learned a lot today for having him here. He's ahead of me, so you should be able to learn a lot of stuff I haven't even done yet. All right, make sure you leave the like. Make sure you subscribe. Until next time, my friends, have a great day. Bye, guys. Ah, See ya.